So what are the best Google Chrome extensions to help boost your productivity? Well in this video I'll be sharing my top four Google Chrome extensions to increase productivity and as a bonus I'll be sharing my top tip on how to use each of them to get the best use out of them. So the first Chrome extension I want to talk about is called Todoist and Todoist is a really really popular app for to-do lists. It's an app that you can get on your phone, you can get it on your tablet, you can get it on your desktop, you can get it on your smartwatch, you can get it pretty much anywhere and they can all link to the one account. But you can also get it as a Chrome extension to help you keep organized when you're in your web browser. And it basically allows you to add and manage your to-do list right on your Chrome whenever you're kind of doing other things on your web browser. You can go back and look at your to-do list. Honestly, it's a really, really handy extension to help you keep on track throughout the day so you can keep going back to what you needed to do and you can use it to tick off anything that you have already done. I should know never to film on bin day because everyone's bringing their bins in and it's so loud. Are you finished? Thank you! So, as I was saying, you can schedule each item on your to-do list for a specific day and time, which I really, really like about it, because it means that if there's something that you really don't need to be doing now, you can prioritise stuff over it and you can do that another day, and it just helps you keep on top of everything and not get stuck on something which you think might be a priority, but actually you can do it another day. The other thing is that within today's, it does actually have a prioritisation uh, section, so you can set things like priority one, two or three, so you can actually prioritize within Todoist as well, which is really nice. And it also allows you to set reminders for to-dos that you still need to do. To do, to do, to do. Take a shot every time I say to do and you will be plastered at the end of this video. The other thing is that you can group the different things on the list into projects. So let's say specifically you have a project that has like five or six things you need to do for it. You can group those and you can name that specific project. Now my top tip when it comes to Todoist, I feel like I need a little like light bulb or something like ding. I'm gonna add that in. Ding. Anyway, my top tip for Todoist is that you can actually link it to your Gmail account, which is really, really cool. But basically what that means is that, um, I don't know if you've ever been in this situation, but I know this happened to me so many times where you have an email come through and there's like an action you need to take from that email. So let's say it's like a budget email and you need to go away and like look at the budget again or something like that. You can then actually link it so that Todoist will then create um, a to-do action from that email. And then when you go into Todoist, you can click on the email um, that can remind you then where it is. So you're not searching your inbox for an email and you know exactly what the action is you need to do from that email. And I think that's really, really helpful. By the way, hi everyone, it's Kelly here. Um, if you're new here, I make planning and productivity videos every single week. So I highly recommend that you click that big subscribe button down below to join the community. And let me know in the comments any ideas you have for future videos. I'm gonna stop rambling on. Let's get back into the Chrome extensions. The second extension I wanna talk about is called Forest. And whenever I first saw this, I thought it was really cute and fun, but actually the more I've used it, the more I actually really, really like it and I like the concept behind it. I also like to garden, so maybe that's why, but you know, I don't know. Forest is basically a timer extension that you can get for Google Chrome and it helps you stay focused on a task whenever you need to get something done. So I've been in so many situations where I've been trying to get something done and then my email pops up and then I get distracted by another website and then in my head I'm thinking, oh, I need to buy a new pair of headphones. Okay, I need to open the Curry's app and have that ready. And I'm just like, whoa, <laughs> there's so many things going on that I can't actually even keep track. And my mind is like trying to do a million and one things at once. So what this really does is it helps you keep focused on one specific task. And the way that it does that is it's got a couple of different lists on it that you can add links to. The forest actually has an alloyist mode and a blockist mode. So what the alloyist mode does is it actually lets you add a couple of websites that you only want to be able to visit during your timers. So let's say it's a 60 minute timer and for example, you have 200 emails in your inbox, you need to sort through those and that's what you wanna do in this hour because you haven't had any other time to do it and that's your key objective that you wanna get done in that day. What you would do is you would set your timer for 60 minutes, you would go on to the allow us mode on Forest and you would set up the websites you wanna be able to visit. So in this case, it would be your emails. If there's any other websites you wanna be able to put on there, you can also add them to the allow us list, start your timer and then Forest 
Pinterest is basically not going to let you visit any other websites apart from your emails for that hour. Now the blockist mode is similar in a way but basically it lets you block out a couple of websites that you definitely don't want to visit. So let's say for example you are trying to work and you keep getting caught up in like Facebook or you keep getting caught up on ASOS or a shopping website or you just can't stop looking at the news or there's just a couple of websites that really distract you. You can add those to your blockist list set your timer and again for that length of time you will not be able to access those websites. So it really just helps you focus for a specific period of time which I really really like and as you go through the timer so let's say it's an hour you have a little plant in a pot and it grows throughout the time which is really really cute and that just means that at the end of that hour you've got this nice little plant and um, if you decide to give up at any point so let's say for example you go onto one of the blocked websites it brings up a pop-up and you click I give up then your tree dies. So this is the motivation to just to keep going for that R, help your little tree grow and yeah that's kind of cool. What I thought would be really cool is if they actually planted a tree for every person that does their like 60 minutes because that would make me want to do it even more but you know I can suggest that to them. Now my top top tip for this one that if you are using forest and you put a 60 minute timer on or however long I seem to like 60 minutes but however long your timer is please 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 if you're going to the extent to use this timer to help you focus put your phone in another room, put your iPad in another room, anything else that's gonna distract you, please try and put it out of reach. Just be careful, put your phone in another room, just try and focus as much as possible. So next up, we have an extension called Row Focus. And the reason that I love Row Focus is actually for its ambient music, and like background music. I don't know about you, let me know in the comments down below, but I am someone who likes to have something on. Like I kind of find it harder to concentrate when I'm in silence, which is why I tend to find it easier to study or work when I go to a cafe, because there's the background noise kind of there. I, I don't know, I just find it easier. So I absolutely love to have some background music on, but prior to using Row Focus, I was having a lot of more distracting things on. So Spotify playlist, but like very upbeat pop Spotify playlist where I'd start singing along and get distracted. Or I'd have a TV show, a YouTube video, a film, something on in the background. And I thought that was great because I was like, hey, I can work and I can have something on. But I was getting so distracted without even realizing it. I was like sitting there watching the show for ages without realizing it. So Row Focus really just gives you some ambient music that you can kind of have on in the background, which is really, really cool. The other thing I like about it is that it also has a timer built into it, so a Pomodoro timer, which is uh, really, really helpful if you're trying to concentrate. Obviously, it doesn't do the same as Forest and like blog websites or anything like that. But again, if you just wanted to have some music on and also have a timer going, it's a great option. And my top tip for this Chrome extension is actually to make sure that there's a little box on Row Focus and it says to uh, play a sound whenever the timer is finished. Make sure that you tick that because the other day I was doing a, a timer on it and I had my music on my timer and I was in the zone and um, I probably sat there for about two hours and it was like a 45 minute timer. Two hours had passed and I was in the zone which is a good thing but also I didn't quite realize the time going past. I highly recommend that you take that just so that when the timer goes off it's like very obvious to you that it's gone off. Next up we have momentum and momentum is the best all-in-one that I have found so far but there's a little bit of a catch to that which is that you do have to pay for the pro version if you want everything to be all-in-one so let me break that down a little bit more so what momentum actually is is it's a new tab opener for Google Chrome so what I mean by that is when you click to open a new tab instead of seeing that like basic home page or whatever you've set to open when you have a new tab it will open momentum it's just a really nice um, kind of home screen to come back to it's got the time in the middle which is really really nice it's got a little quote at the bottom and then it has a section in the middle where you can set your key priority for the day now I love that because I think that really helps you keep focused if you just have one key thing that you're like at the end of the day if I get this done I'll be happy along with that momentum also has the weather in the top right corner which is just a nice touch if you ever want to check the weather I'm a bit of a sucker for checking the weather now I must just be, be getting older and now I just feel like I have to check the weather it also has a to do in the bottom right which is how I'm starting to say it sort of brings everything together which is nice so you can set your to-do list for the day as well as having your key priority on there like I said there is a little bit of a catch to this being an all-in-one so the other thing that we haven't spoken about 
about it having is a timer. So other ones that we've spoken about having a timer, I think having a timer is really, really helpful as a Chrome extension and I would recommend anyone to get a timer. If it's Forest, if it's Momentum, if it's Road Focus, just having a timer I think is really helpful. Um, but in Momentum, you have to pay extra if you want a Pomodoro timer as part of their Plus plan. And their Plus plan costs $3.33 US a month which yeah it's not a huge amount of money but also you can get all of this stuff for free so it's kind of a lot to pay for it and some of the other features that you get with the plus membership are that you can add an extra tab whenever you add a link so if you add a link you can actually add two tabs for example within that link and the other thing is autofocus and autofocus basically allows you to focus on one task in your to-do list um, at a time and just focus on that one um, so personally in my opinion I wouldn't pay 333 for the extra one when what you could do is get momentum and get another uh, extension such as forest and then you're you've got your everything you need in the one place um, but that's just my personal opinion some people probably would really really enjoy the plus account now my top tip for using momentum is actually to add anything that you have in your bookmarks bar currently so that bar across the top where you save any of your bookmarks that you come to regularly. If you are planning on using Momentum, what you can do is you can add all of those bookmarks in the links section in Momentum. And then once you've done that, you can actually turn off viewing your bookmarks bar. So you can actually not see your bookmarks bar and that just means that your Chrome page just looks a lot less messy when you don't have all those bookmarks. If you're interested in like a clean looking, what do you even call it, browser, then you can do that. That's an option as well if you're interested in um, keeping everything simple and clean. If you find this video helpful, I highly recommend you go and check out my video on three of my favorite productivity tools. If you wanna know a little bit more about some other tools outside of Chrome extensions. And I also really highly recommend that you subscribe for new videos every single week on planning and productivity. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.